What is up, y'all? Welcome to, hey, surprise, something showed up today. So I figure, you know what? It's just us. Why don't we hang out for a little bit? Because four hours yesterday wasn't enough. So there's that. <laughs> How's everybody doing on this Thursday? Hopefully everyone is good, healthy, doing all right, not bored out of your mind, not wanting to kill any kids that you may have screaming around your house. So figure, you know what? Uh, I had to, I went out uh, of the house for a little bit. It is a gorgeous day here in the Boston area. So I figured, you know what? Uh, stop by the post office, check the P.O. box. The nice thing about uh, my post office and it being a small town here is Peter is a buddy of mine now. He and I have become, I mean, I wouldn't call us tight, but Peter, uh, he's a little bit younger than I am, but uh, he is one of the guys that works the front of the post office. And I walk in, I'm like, what up? Not quite like Mac Lamore, but you get the idea. And he's like, he looks at me and goes, I got you. He go, I don't even say anything. He just goes in back and gives me a box. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so something arrived today and hung out uh, at a distance from Peter. And we lamented the half measures that seem to be going on here in Massachusetts. Um, like I said, it's a gorgeous day out. So went for a bit of a drive, had the windows down. There are a lot of people walking around the lake here, which is cool but they're all bunched up. And I'm like, just space yourself out, people. Anyway, enough about that, all right? Brian, thanks for the newest High Frontiers playthrough and teach. I just saw it and it was very helpful. Awesome, man, I'm glad. And just wait, a couple months, and we're gonna be doing the whole kit and caboodle with the actual uh, fourth edition. And oh yeah, thanks to the patrons, we have the PTZ camera now. That's gonna be awfully sexy. Can't wait for that, all right? Um, oh God, oh, I just saw this, Todd, his ex-wife has COVID-19. I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope for a speedy recovery for her, Todd, all right? Uh, no killing kids, Andrew says, Bi uh, bind and gag them though, maybe in the future. I mean, a lot of people have unfinished basements. I do not, I do have a crawl space or like a, uh, it's not a basement, it's a, uh, a cellar. There you go. So you may have a cellar or a basement, you know, with support pipes. You could always just chain them to that and gag them and then just bring them down food and water periodically and that'll teach them. I'm kidding, people. I'm kidding. Mostly for some of y'all might not. Anyway, all right, enough about this, all right? Cool. York was watching Ride the Rails. See, Rorick's doing it right. Brian's doing it right. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, exactly. Stay home, flatten the curve. That is exactly it. I think that's, is that Mom Gamer? Mashmi? I think, maybe? Anyway, all right. So you guys are here for an unboxing. I have a game to unbox. Uh, a little bit of background on this. So the publisher uh, and I have been conversing the better part of a year. Um, yeah, thereabouts. Lemon again today, not, yeah. So anyway. Um, and we weren't able to work together during the Kickstarter. It was a Kickstarter game, but it's legitimately a game I've been looking forward to. And I'll be honest, recently I kind of forgotten about it. And it showed up today. And so I figured, you know what, let's dig into it together, shall we? Parenting tips from Edward, take notes. Yeah, that, I don't have kids yet. Or, well, I say yet. You get the idea, it just has. Anyway, moving on. All right. <laughs> Tim, no bad thoughts toward the child, however, coworkers. That's awesome. All right. Oh, Corey says that's a good idea, but there are games down there. Okay, fair point. See? All right. Maybe not. Yay! That is awesome news. For those that have been watching the show for a while, Banker Dave, that's hardcore, um, there in chat, says Joel, his son, uh, has recovered from COVID and on a three-day countdown before he can see anyone legitimately great news. I am really, really glad to hear that, man. That made my whole day right there. Awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. All right. Uh, Kushigra. Hey, Edward, when is Coffee Traders going to come out? The take everything I say with a grain of salt, given the world climate and everything that's going on right now. But uh, Clay and I spoke a couple weeks ago at Gamma and he doesn't know if it's going to Kickstarter or if it's going traditional. Either way, the plan is to have it out this year, hopefully in time for Essen, but that is written in sand right now. So, grace with that. I, I think everyone is probably doing a lot better with giving one another a little bit of grace, which the world could use that. 
right now, so I'm glad to see that. But that said, um, that was the plan before things kind of went off the rails. All right? All right, so there you go. Jason, they made me quarantine for 14 days from the start of symptoms. Well, be safe, good luck, drink lots of fluids, and rest, man. Seriously, that's the best thing you can do, right? Uh, okay, Jess says no bound it, binding and gagging. My kids are the best. They kind of really are. Well, at least some of them. I'll let them choose and figure out which ones I'm talking about, but it's up to them, all right? I may send them to their room for a time, but they play in the yard. Usually, them uh, bring back normal energy levels. Yeah, exactly, right? So that's good. Uh, awesome. All right, so let's get to it, all right? We had a four-hour Ask the Elephant yesterday, which was kind of nuts. It's funny, when I got down, uh, when I got done, I was like, I don't want to talk for a week. Yet, here I am. Hmm. All right, all right. Cool. All right, so let's get into it. So, the game, you can probably see from that, all right, is Rorik, Dawn of Kiev, all right? So, here we go. Oh, Fred, thanks for the Crystal Palace va video. Fantastic game. It really is. Good, I'm glad. I want to read a little bit of intro for those that are unfamiliar with Rorik. Rorik, Dawn of Kiev, you play as a potential successor to the throne following the death of your father, Vladimir the Great, in 1015. The people value a well-rounded leader, so you must establish your legacy by building, taxing, fighting, and accomplishing great deeds. Will you win over the hearts of the people to become the next ruler of Kievan Rus? I think it's Rus? Rus? Uh, Rorik brings to life the ancient culture of Kievan Rus uh, with game designer, uh, game design by Russian designer Stanislav Kordansky. Kordansky, I think, and illustrations by Ukrainian artist Yaroslav Redichki. I'm, I'm not really good with my Russian or uh, Ukrainian, so a bit of grace on that as well. All right. All right, cool. And yes, I said things went off the rails. Of course, all right. Kushigara. So says, ah, Rurik, you're going to like this. Cool. All right. So will I do some gameplay video? If so, can you do Lords of Hellas with the expansions? Is it... I, 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 ah, it's been a while since I've seen you, Mr. Braz. Is it Yao? Yao? I, ah, it's, it's Portuguese and you're in Brazil. I think I remember. And I forget how to pronounce your name. I apologize. Uh, I don't have Lords of Hellas. So probably not anytime soon on that one. All right. Kevin, I was deemed an essential worker. Obviously, the world would completely fall apart without drawer slides. Seriously. Life is complete with drawer slides, Kevin, especially yours. All right, Mom Gamer has this, still in shrink. All right. Tiago says a friend of mine got this, said it's amazing. Awesome. All right, on a serious note, Jason had my first symptom last Monday. I was fine by Friday, still locked in my bedroom till the 31st. All right, just be safe, dude, all right? And hey, Jason, on a serious note, thanks for taking it serious, all right? And, and treating it how it's supposed to be treated, so good on you on that, all right? Uh, what's the glory to Rome over under on the social distancing? I, I, the numbers don't go that high, all right? Merrick, are you gonna play Combat Commander ever again? Yep, Joe and I were just talking about Combat Commander Pacific because it has the Marines in it. Uh, Joe-o. Joe-o? Joe-o? All right. All right, anyway, expansion for Rurik due on Kickstarter next month. It's possible we do a video for that. Anyway, let's get to it, shall we? All right, let's dig in. So some of you guys obviously are gonna be familiar with this. I am not because it just arrived today. So, there we go. Good enough. Let's see if we can kind of slide it out now. There we go. Ah. So how many of you guys have never heard of Rurik up until, well, moments ago? Ah. 
Kickstarter edition includes four plus player trays, plastic player trays, and 12 intrigue cards. Funny story on this. It's actually intrigue. Uh, very first convention went to um, Amanda, actually, was playing um, Lords of Waterdeep with somebody who kept calling the intrigue cards intrigue cards, so it kind of stuck as a joke of a word, kind of, I know, kind of mean, I'll stop, all right. Andrew, I GTR'd it quite a lot, not getting to play hands in the sea. So Andrew, I'm not gonna put you on the spot. Yes, I am. Are you gonna be able to come over next week so we can play games? Please, Andrew, please, please, please. Not sick, all right. Uh, Kiesel, just joined. Rourke, looks nice on screenshots. Isn't it too late for heavy cardboard? Well, let's answer your question. Kiesel. The weight is three out of five on BGG. Take that with a grain of salt. We are medium in heavy strategy board games. So there's that. All right. There you go. See Luke says, hi all. Australian in the house says, let's hear it for clicking that bell icon down below. Just got to notice this was happening. Cool. So Priorities. Number one, the patrons found out about this about an hour ago. They knew. So in Slack, I let everybody know, hey, just got a new game, going to be doing an unboxing video if you guys want to join. Number two, I didn't promote this. Didn't mention it on Twitter, anywhere, and just said, you know what? The subscribers get a cool little benefit. So if you are a subscriber, but you have not hit that little bell icon down below, it should be right about where I'm pointing. Thereabouts. There then you should do so, so you get notified whenever we do these surprise streams. I'm just saying, there may be another surprise stream coming up this weekend. Maybe, we'll see. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how you pronounce that name. That is in, not English. Is that Russian or Ukrainian? Nuko? <laughs> I'm sure I'm butchering that. Uh, and Kushigra says, this is definitely medium, not light by any means. So there we go. Anyway, Andrew says, I will make the argument. Trust me. Good. Please do. Not sick. Please come. Let's play hands in the sea and maybe something else. Anyway, let's get into it. Rourke. Oh, wait. Before we do that. Oh, uh, before we get started, a little bit of s proper business. Uh, Kirk over at Peacekeeper Games. He's the one who I've been talking to. So big thanks to Kirk at Peacekeeper Games for this. Um, like I said, it just showed up today. So there we go. All right. There's the back of the box. Obviously, I did not break out the PTZ for this because, right. So there you go. That's kind of how it looks, right? All right. Cool. Let's get to it. Uh, Krasimir, don't do a Lords of Waterdeep. Uh, I think it'd be fun as a Glory to Rome stream. Anyway, all right. Oh. It's a dude with a bear cha attacking him or posturing, if nothing else, on the side. That looks serious. Christos, I've done it right to my phone. That's how I got here. Awesome. Well, welcome, everybody. Hey, hit the thumbs while you're at it. You guys should have already subscribed and hit the bell, but hit the thumbs. And maybe if you want to, you know, support the show, you can go to pledgehc.com. Oh, I still have the awakening down at the bottom. No one mentioned that? Come on, people. Let's take that off, shall we? There we go. All right. Yes, one to four. That means solo. I, I did, in fact, notice that as well. All right. So, I mean, we'll look at the yellow pieces because, yeah. So, all right. Ah! In Russia, bear get you. Yeah. All right. So, without knowing anything, that looks like wood, stone, Fish, bear skin or leather, 
Those look like tiles. <laughs> Yellow I, I might be like wheat of some sort. I don't know. All right. Hey, Felix. All right, so there's wooden bits. Now there are some plastic bits. So let's, oh, and, oh, well, isn't, isn't this fancy? Check this out. So there's here, which you guys can see that, right? With the, uh, without the glare. That's, A, that's kind of fancy, right? There you go, you can see that pretty well. But listen, oh, what is that you might ask? Wow. Color me impressed. All right, let's see how well this works though. So, and how we, it's two of these thin pieces of plastic together. Uh, you gotta kinda. Well, all right. Okay, high marks for the uh, production quality here. So you can see, wow. Wow. Okay. And not going to lie. These, this was made for me. You understand why? Because all the games we play nowadays, we don't, we don't stand workers up like this because everybody streams here. So we just lay them down anyway so you can see it clearly and the camera can see them. So obviously, thanks to everybody over at uh, uh, Peacekeeper Games for doing that because they obviously had me in mind when they did this. Um, oh, oh, Franny Archipelago, um, there's somebody that's been badgering you longer. I've had his copy of the game forever. Honeycomb. Oh, it's honey. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's what the bear was after. Duh. That makes sense. All right. Wow. Here we go. That's pretty cool. One, two, two, three, four, five. All right, so those are the pieces. And they lock in like that and they're easy to pop off. Just there and you just pull the lid off and then there you go. Wow, that's pretty fancy. And then along with that, hey Kabuki. <laughs> Ashborn, I might steal that idea for my own insert design. Legit, that is, that's pretty amazing. That I've never, I, has anybody else seen that? I haven't. So let's get, uh, get these kind of organized a little. I'll zoom in, don't worry. There we go, close enough. So there you go, so you guys can kind of see the, the minis, the detail on them a little bit for all you people that are into this type of thing. You can see the definition on the faces. Should have broke out the PTZ to be able to zoom in even more so you guys could see this, but that's, that's not bad. Um, they're, it's a hard plastic. They're not like the flimsy plastic. Like I, Again, this isn't my area of expertise, so I don't want to speak on that, but um, yeah, they're pretty detailed, I think. They look pretty good. Cool, all right, and then there are Little pieces of wood that are crowns. We got a cross sword one, and then we have that, which is going to be for some other figure of something. So, all right, cool, sounds good, Joe. -o. All right, so I assume that those are going to be like so. All right, so let's move that stuff out of the way. These are going to be the same, just in different player colors. As Bjorn says, uh, it's a decent looking mini. Um, I'll take your, I, I think so, but again, I am not, I'm pretty ignorant when it comes to quality of minis and all that. Um, that, because that's just not my area of interest really. So, all right, well, that's kind of good. It actually shows you how to put the game back together, the box. Well, so far, Color me impressed, man. I, I can't speak to the game, obviously, but... 
That is really, really good. Kind of ruins the surprise, though, for you guys. You know it's going to be underneath now. But Wow. This is legitimately fantastic. Wow. All right. Well done, guys. All right. So let's get to it. And it's just a piece of paper. That's it. Showing that. Cool. We'll keep that out so we know how to put it back. All right. Yeah, painting the shields. There you go. If nothing else, right? That's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Anyway, nice artwork so far. Uh, so, um, let's, there you go. So here, let's zoom into the paths of victory. All right. Shows how you're, the, the, it's like I wrote this. It's like, okay, what is the goal of the game? Here you go. So you're going to score points these different ways. So far, remind me to check and see who, uh, who did the rule book? So, and a little bit of flavor. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Again, if you guys listened to or any of the Ask the Elephant uh, yesterday, I had lamented games that do not have pictures for the components because I want to be able to reference them and everything as I as I learn a game and whatever. Um, I think that's uh, I think that's important. And it just makes learning easier when I learn from the rule book before you guys learn from me, hopefully, right? Nice setup. Okay. Has numbers on everything. So like number one corresponds, uh, a lot of rule books do, don't get me wrong, but you get the idea. Looks laid out pretty well. Yeah, I don't know that this looks light. <laughs> Solo mode. All right. So who did the, uh, let's see, who did the rule book? It's not there, maybe inside the first page. Right up here, there we go. Design, development, illustration, da -da -da, graphic design, and art direction is Yoma. Dan Cunningham made the plastic trays. Props, Dan. Uh, John Brieger did the solo mode editing. Oh, Dustin Schwartz did the, uh, the rule book editing. All right. Hey, Dustin. Cool. Good job. At least from a layout standpoint, looks really, really good. All right. So there's the rule book. Has leaders. So I'm going to guess that the leaders are the ones that the, uh, that big round base was for. It's not a double-sided board. It's just black on the on the back side. I'm currently flexing the board in the wrong direction so that it lays flat. Obviously, you need to be careful not to do it too far. Um, thankfully, I haven't had that happen yet. So there we go. That's fine. Uh, not not super in love with the color choices here. It looks a little. Washed, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, eh, yeah, not, not, not my favorite colors. Everything's clear, at least, I will say that, right? Regardless of where you are. Everything is clear. The icons are clear and everything, right? But, all right. I mean, art is very subjective, so there's that, okay? So, all right. Very, very kind of boggish marsh over there in Sudzal. I'm butchering that, I'm sure, but all right. All right, well, anyway, there's the board. Player boards. Four of them, so. Obviously, as somebody mentioned, it's one to four. Oh, 
Well, this is a nice, nice touch, I think. I'm, I'm not quite sure what the difference is, but you see that. And there's the fourth one, but there's also uh, that as an option. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the difference is between the sides. Ah, this is solo, this, and this is multiplayer. So there we go. Okay. That would be the difference. Okay. Then this is the resource board. Sorry, claim board here, which there. That's a pretty big board. Like that is, you could see that from space. I, I joke about that, but that is super clear. I am really happy that they made the font really big on that. Like, let me zoom out so you guys can see the full board. And I bet you can still probably read that. There, if it were about like that when we're streaming, right, without the PTZ I'm saying, you can still read that. You can see the numbers real clearly. Yeah. I don't know about any Kickstarter exclusive stuff. That I, I don't know. Somebody else would have to speak to that. Oh, all right. I'll fix that. Uh, then this is the strategy board. One or two player side and the three and four player side. So... Layering things on up there, okay. Uh, wow, pre-punched bits, wow. These are normal chit size, like they, they, they're fine. They're, they look perfectly normal, all right. What I assume is money in the game, um, cardboard, design on it though, but there you go. But yeah, just normal cardboard depth, right? So that's fine, okay? This is Rorik, Brian. One deck of cards here. I keep, I'm making you guys dizzy, sorry about that. So these, from the looks of it, trying to figure out, these would be the scheme cards and deed cards, and possibly agenda cards, so a moment. Then there is these with, uh, is that a Galgo? No, those are Spanish. What kind of dog is that? It's like a greyhound, but longer hair. Don't know. Hmm. Huh. Trying to figure, oh, these might be the Kickstarter exclusive things. Um, what was it that it said? Let me look at the sticker that I've since thrown away. And there we go. Uh, intrigue cards. So the plastic player trays are Kickstarter exclusive, I guess. And these are. Okay, so these are just little rule breakers, it looks like, whatever. Okay. So... You guys want to see what these look like? Let me uh, try to see if I can bust these out. This is why I have my extraordinarily expensive wire cutters. Snap-on, right here. Almost $100. But back when I used to work aviation, worked avionics for a living for many, 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 many years. That's why I did in the Marine Corps. Ooh, linen finish on the cards. Always nice. All right. Russian Wolfhound. All right. Thank you. So I'll show you the back. You know what? Let's get all of this stuff out of the way for right now. Yes, I realize this is a ridiculously long unboxing. I understand. But, you know, what are you guys going to do, right? So there's one. There's one. 
The artwork's really nice on this. These are all interspersed. Yep, there you go. Those are the three types. Um, and then, so that is what it looks like on the flip side of those. These are the skein cards, it looks like. Then the crown ones are agenda cards. There. Easily, easily legible on that. And then the parchment ones are deed cards. Those look like that. Move those up a little. Okay. Borzoi. Okay, all right. Greyhound during a pandemic. <laughs> That's funny. Speaking of which, one thing I didn't mention, you guys are going to notice my beard and my hair getting longer because my barber, unfortunately, he's out of work too, right? Um, so I can't go to my barber to get a haircut. So you may see hats come be broken out at some point. All right. I'm a big fan of uh, greyhounds. I miss my boy. So anyway, artwork or uh, different cards in the game. Okay. There are other larger cards. These larger ones are for the solo game, it looks like, here, in player aids. So these are for the solo game. All right. Tor, I'm watching an unboxing of a game I, wa I unboxed myself a while ago. I have a problem. Oh, and Mike says it's fun. I'm playing it while we're watching. Well, there you go. All right. So... Okay, so solo cards and reference cards. Uh, I don't know what this is in, re oh, okay. So there's a little tiny little sticker sheet here. You'll notice that at the very top. So this is the last insert. I'll show you guys before I do anything with it. So this is in the bottom of the box. The box is now empty. So show you guys there, okay. You see a plastic sheet over the top of it, all right? Floby. So, all right. So, you pop this off, which, okay, it's got little, you can see the little things that it goes in to hold everything in place. Man, this is pretty impressive. So, I will, I will break out those minis here in a minute. Ventslav. Yes, it is Rurik. That is a, uh, there's a bear. Because there better be. Um, so what it looks like, if I'm understanding this right, there's going to be, f yep, here we go. There are 15 of the mini rebels. And a rebel, yeah. Crime ball. All right, that's, that's as close as we got. Ah, it's going to get, there you go. So you can see the rebels. These stickers go under the bases of sub -re said rebels. So like when you defeat them, you get coins, you get wood, you get various resources. So that's how that's going to go. All right, throw those back in the bag. Gotta love people uh, lamenting my uh, constant commenting during the stream. Sorry, sorry some folks don't like it. All right. Yeah, what can you do? Can't please everybody. Oh, this is back in the basement. Eh, I've learned. All right, moving on. Those are the different leaders. These look, not going to lie, these look pretty badass. Let's check them out. So I'll try and call off the names, and so you guys can make fun of me on me butchering. Uh, I will try, though. This looks like, oh, boy. Zviat Topok? Zviat Topok? Legitimately, these these look good, man. What I do? There we go. So that's what it looks from the top down, which doesn't really oh there we go. Doesn't really help you guys a whole lot, but again, hard plastic, they're not the moldable, malleable uh, plastic. So there we go. Wow. That looks really good. 
Huh. All right. So, like I said, Zviat to bulk. It's the best I got. The next one is Predslava. There. Yeah, you can see his face pretty. Uh, it's. I got it dialed in just for this depth. So, so there you go. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Next one is Agatha. 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 Not sure. Kaka. Joe, if we see top six box insert streams, we know we've been inside uh, too long. Got to say, this has got to be in a running for it. Um, awfully impressive. Now, each of these does have its own particular home. And so, oh, and they're numbered. Wow. All righty. So let's see. Next is uh, this one I'm pretty sure I can name. Boris. So nailed that one, if you like. So if anybody uh, is offering to wash these and, and possibly paint them before stream, I can send them to you if you want. Oh, that's really, I, I like a shield. That's pretty cool. All right. Oh, he's upside down. He's backwards. There we go. The next one is Jaroslav. Started with the hardest one, I think. I'm not kidding, we just watched Snatch last week. Boris the Blade. Or, uh, uh, yeah. Just, yeah. S love Guy Ritchie. There we go. I know I could, that's just not my thing. All right, next. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Uh, Sudislav. Venslav says, Edward, after six months, I still hope you will stream Hitler's Reich someday. We shall see. Okay, two left. We have a bowman, or I'm sorry, a bow woman, Maria. Yes, we saw a gentleman as well. That was fantastic. Do love Guy Ritchie. Trying to get the face. There we go. Nice. All right, one left. And the last one is, oh boy, Mr. Slav, Mr. Slav, uh, Stislav, Mr. Oh boy. It's M S T I Slav. Mr. Slav, that's, that's the best I got. So, and that's with the uh, Borzoi. That's awesome. Hmm. I, I'd be willing to bet that these are all historical as well. Um, obviously, I, I, I'm not positive on that, but I, I think so. All right, so that's uh, that's that's it unboxed. So now let's uh, let's rebox it, shall we? And see how well this thing does. So uh, and to show you guys the board again. Um, like I said, that, if there's one thing that I'm not super thrilled about is the color choices. 
um, so you guys can kind of see. Okay. All right. So, see if we can do this. So we have the box. We have that insert. Now I could take things out and these would go directly into there, but not going to right now. And you know when if this is this or this because of this one goes right there. Wow, and just pops right in. Color me, hella impressed, not gonna lie. Uh, and then could put the cards in, in their respective spaces, which I need to figure out what I did with. So like there, there, and there, all right. So next would be that board there. Next, there. Then these guys. Then the board. I just, it's a little washed. It's just, it's very saturated. It's just not my favorite. Nothing's wrong with it. It's just a artistic choice. Just being honest. That's my opinion. Others might find it beautiful. I also think Arkwright looks good and a lot of people think it's ugly as sin. So there's that. All right. Nothing wrong with it. There. Uh, we're going to have to back up one step, I think. These, because they're not in their right spots quite yet. Those will go in there. There we go. Throw those bad boys in there. One, I guess technically that would go in. Then one, two, three. What are we fighting for? Oh, I don't give a damn. Next up is Vietnam. There we go. And that, folks, is Rorik. Donna Kiev. Somebody asked earlier, what's tomorrow's, what's the next stream? That. 1942 Yorktown from Looping Games. So, that's tomorrow. All right. All right, saturated. Whatever, Franny, thanks. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, Fuchsia Angel, by the way, Kiesel. There you go. All right, Mstislav, Mstislav, all right, yeah, you get it. Anyway, that's tomorrow, but that was Rurik, Dona Kiev. Uh, so yeah, there you go, there's a fun unboxing. It's about half an hour or so, thereabouts, right? Something like that, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, I guess. But yeah, anyway, let's face it, you guys aren't going anywhere. I'm not either. You know what I'm going to do the rest of today? Emails. A lot of emails. All right. There you go. Yes. And Ashbjorn says there's an expansion coming out uh, for Rurik on, on Kickstarter soon. Yes. Which uh, I guess that was smart timing on their part. But if we're able to play this, we will do so um, and go from there. So there you go. All right. Good. Krasimir. Very nice surprise this was. See, benefits for subscribing as well as uh, getting notified or being a, uh, a patron. You learn about it as well. So that's tomorrow, Saturday. If Andrew can talk the boss into it next week. So we'll see. Uh, there might be another surprise stream this weekend. That's not like, uh, I guess it is a tease. It's not a definitive, but it's possible. Let's just say there was a little birdie that said, hey, maybe we should play a two-player game. Maybe we should. What is it going to be? I don't know. Is it going to be? I don't know, but it's possible. So there we go. All right. Cool. You guys have a great rest of your day. I will catch you tomorrow at noon Eastern. So what is that? Uh, five hours, 19, just about 19 hours from now. 1942, USS Constitution, or USS Yorktown. Constitution's about 200 years before that, 150. Anyway, this, tomorrow, 
I'll see you guys then. Take care, everybody. Bye.